Hey there everyone, Felcho here and welcome to today's video. I hope everyone has been enjoying the 1.6 update and all of the quality of life changes that came with it. In every update of Stardew Valley there have always been some awesome things that changed the game for the better and the 1.6 update has a lot of them as well. Today we will be covering 20 quality of life changes that were added in the new update. Starting off with the first quality of life update and one that I have been overjoyed to see which is you can no longer pick up rugs if there's something on them. I can't remember the times I have accidentally picked up the rug beneath some tables or chairs and couldn't place it back due to the items already being placed there. It was a pain to just remove them, put the rug back, the furniture back just to have the old look. But now we can say goodbye to the rug pulling in the house. Next up. We have a very nice quality of life update that is really amazing and it's one that concerns Pam. No, we're not getting rid of Pam sadly, but we will still be having a small change with her. If for any reason Pam decides she won't be coming to the bus stop, she will leave a sign informing you about that and you will have to drive yourself to the desert. The only thing that makes me wonder is when did we get our driver's license in the game and where's our car, come on. Another one that we have, which is a bit smaller, but it's a bit game changing, is that now you can put torches on sprinklers, lighting up that farming area a bit. For me this is really nice and it improves the quality of the game, where you always have some lighting when you're trying to farm or like plant crops in the evening hours, after a festival or something like that. So it's quite a welcome update. The following quality of life update that we have which is quite game changing for me is that you can now strafe while charging a watering can or hoe. This will allow you to reposition your tool hitbox area without changing your facing direction, which will save you time and energy. Can't remember the times I've wasted some energy when I rewatered a spot twice by accident and now all of those bad things will be just memories with the change. And now we have one for all of those lazy pairs out there. You can now pay this golden parrot found at the volcano dungeon entrance to find all of the golden walnuts for you. I don't think I will be using it for myself, but a lot of players out there would probably want to get quick access to Mr. Key's golden walnut room. He's quite expensive and he works for Georgia, so keep that in mind. Chests also get a few quality of life changes as well, where NPCs won't destroy chests when they run into them. Now anytime a villager has a chest in their way, they will just shove it out of their way instead of destroying the chest and losing all the items in it. This will surely save a lot of items from destruction in many playthroughs which is quite nice and all of your storage chests spread around the valley will be safe. And another small update concerning chests is that you can now move filled chests by hitting them twice with a heavy tool. This will save you a lot of time where you previously had to click on a full chest a lot of times in order for it to move. When hitting the chest with a heavy tool, it will only move one space at a time, so keep that in mind. For all of the decorators out there, there has been a small change, where you will now be able to put flooring underneath most of the buildings on the farm. You can now use this to get the perfect look for your farm. Another quite big quality of life change that we got in this new update concerns the slime hutch. The slime hutch got a downsize, where it now occupies a smaller area on the farm. You can also change the flooring of the slime hutch and remove the starter incubator inside as well. If you place crafted flooring inside, slime balls will no longer appear on it giving you more control inside the hutch. Now for the next quality of life update which concerns fishing. Fishing got a lot of changes as well including the fish bait. Now you can get specific fish type bait which you can use to increase your chances of those fish biting. It's going to be a lifesaver when you need only a certain type of fish, but limited time in catching it. So this is an amazing update. Refilling the slingshot ammo is now made easier. In the past, when you wanted to refill the items by right clicking, it would just swap the item stacks, but now it properly refills the slingshot if you're using the same ammo. So combat is made much easier and more fluid. Next up we have a small little quality of life update which concerns the crystallariums in the game. In the past I lost a lot of gems when I tried to replace the one inside the crystallarium, 
but now they will have to be removed and replaced before you are able to put a different gem inside. This change is very welcome since I can't even count the number of gems I wasted by accidentally refilling the crystallariums in the past. So I love this change. Another change that we have is concerning cactus seeds. Since you can't plant these on the farm, a lot of players wasted the seeds where they died overnight. Now if you try to plant the cactus seeds on the farm, it will fail with a message instead of them dying overnight. There was also a small update for the fish ponds. Now whenever you empty a full fish pond, it will cause the remaining fish to flop out of the pond and on the ground, making it seem a bit more real. Next up we have a smaller change that is also quite welcome and that is the reduced time you need to push against a pet before they start shaking and let you pass through. In the past it was 1.5 seconds and now it will be 0.75 seconds. I can't remember the times I fainted because my dog or cat decided to block the bed and leave me to sleep on the cold floor. So this will save a lot of players from unwanted cold floors. Another new change that we have is concerning events. Now, whenever a sound in a night event plays out, it will also show an icon in the bottom left screen to indicate to the player that the sound is playing. Sometimes you don't hear the sounds and you don't even know that something somewhere in the game has changed. The special orders request board has seen a change as well. Any special orders you have completed will now be marked by a small checkmark icon and this will only affect the town special orders board. With that, you know which ones you've done so far, so you don't have to repeat yourself all the time. Robin Shop also got an improvement, where now, when you want to build something on the farm, the build menu will now show how many days it will take Robin to finish the building. We also got a small change concerning Marnie's shop. If you're purchasing an animal for Marnie, it will now center the camera on the appropriate building for that animal which will save you time in scrolling around the farm until you get to the building as we did till now. And the last one that we have is that inventory tooltips for food that gives you buff will now show the buff duration on the tooltip. This is quite nice in knowing which food gives you the longest lasting buffs so you know which one to choose. And you won't have to experiment to see the duration of it which is quite nice. And that is the end of the list for the quality of life changes in the new 1.6 update of Stardew Valley. What do you think? Which one of these were you looking forward to the most and which one you didn't expect at all? Let me know down below. I know that the 1.6 update has loads of more content in it. And these are only the quality of life changes that happened. So in the future videos I will cover the new features, the new areas and new quest lines as well that are added in the new update. So keep your eyes peeled for my future videos as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you'd like to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel so you get notified of any future update. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all in my next one. But till then, stay safe.